Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a pretty major remodel on my master bedroom and master bathroom in my home. Now, it's gonna be pretty extensive, so I'll probably break this video up into uh, parts, you know, part one, two, three, four. Hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy first part and keep going to second and third and fourth and fifth. Because there's a lot going on in this room, and uh, my master bathroom. I'm gonna kind of break it up into sections for you, kind of like how to do a vanity cabinet, how to do tiling, how to do flooring, and all that good stuff, and give you a general overall picture of what I've created in my home. So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of what's gonna happen, and uh, then we'll get busy and get it done, right? So here we are. This is my master bedroom. We don't seem to have any problems with the size, so we're not expanding it. This is the master closet right here. I can't stand these type of closets with, uh, you know, doors that bifold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put cabinetry inside here with cabinet doors that open up to uh, organized shelving and stuff like that. So that's a nice feature for the master bedroom uh, closet. And Obviously, carpet's coming up, flooring's going in, walls are getting painted. So this is a pretty easy part of it. The hardest part is the master bathroom. Now, the master bathroom is gonna be quite extensive. What I'm gonna do here is, this is gonna get ripped out right here. There's gonna be a door right here going to the outside. And on the outside, I'm gonna have an outside patio with an outdoor shower. Now, this vanity is getting ripped out. I'm gonna frame out a large window in here. Then we're gonna have a pedestal bathtub right here. Then this bathtub is getting ripped out. And we're gonna be putting a shower cubicle in here with a rain shower. Uh, I'm gonna leave the window because that's a, a nice feature. And once the patio is built, no one can see in, so you could leave the window open, it'd be nice and bright. This is my old shower right here. This is getting ripped out. That doorway is getting closed off. That doorway is getting closed off. And I'm gonna be putting a vanity unit in here with a couple sinks, uh, mirrors on the wall, some possible pendulum lighting. And then this is the master closet. And the master closet, because I'm closing off the doorway that I just explained to you, I'm gonna open up and put a doorway right in here going into the master bedroom. So it's easy access from the master bedroom. This doorway is getting closed off for my vanity units. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this wall right here so you can have access to the toilet because this is being closed off. All the tile floors are getting ripped up. Everything's getting redone. All the plumbing and all that stuff. So I'll show you some electrical tips, some plumbing tips along the way. So please stay tuned and go through all the parts. Part one, part two, part three, who knows how many there's gonna be and I might even divide them up into how-to videos for plumbing, electrical, tiling and all that good stuff. But we'll get to that and um, hopefully you really enjoy this. It's gonna take me quite an extensive amount of time so the video processing is gonna be uh, hellacious to say the least. But I'm willing to do it if you're willing to watch it. So please subscribe to my channel leave some comments, share the video if you feel like it to friends. As you can imagine, being a builder and a, I wouldn't say professional filmmaker, definitely an amateur filmmaker, um, I do appreciate you guys watching. So stay tuned, see what's going on. I'm gonna hyperspeed all of this stuff up and then when we get to the cool parts, I'll slow everything down and do a bit of explanation. So here we go, hyperspeed, rip the carpet out. Yay, fun stuff. guys job done on the carpet Whew. didn't take that long about an hour found a little bit of mold down there that's why I had my mask on and it was a little bit dusty so better to be safe than sorry so we're gonna move on in here and start taking this vanity out <laughs> Man, 
gross. Folks, we're moving along pretty quick here. Splashed out a bunch of tile. I'm gonna try and take that bad boy down on my own. Don't judge me if I break it. I'm gonna do my best. See how it goes now. Well, I'm not gonna lie on that one. That was nerve wracking. Especially on your own, I didn't have my suction cups with me, so <laughs> I just hope those two come out just as easy because I don't need the bad luck. I got the vanity out, I got the mirror out, and what I'm going to do, which might seem a little bit crazy to the viewer, you guys, is I'm not going to demo any of this stuff. Not just yet. But the reason being is the closest place to my trailer for the trash is right through that wall. And the second thing is I want to open this up to make sure there's nothing really in my way for the window. And then I can measure up the window, frame it on the inside, bust the hole out, take all the trash out. So that's the plan is I'm going to take this soffit out right here. Uh, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to remove all of this drywall here and then I can begin my framing for the window and measure up the window and order it because it could take uh, upwards of seven weeks and I don't want to wait that long so I'm going to do that first. I did discover one thing which is pretty cool. Um, there's a header right here, and you can see the plywood here and the paper there. This was a window, and they framed it in. So, what that does, it makes my life really, really easy to pop the door in because there's already a header. All I've got to do is take this stud out right here, put a flat stud in, frame out whatever width door I want to put in here. It's kind of determined by the bath, but it's probably a 32 inch door. And then all I've got to do is pop a header in above this section here for the large window for the bathtub. Hello my friends. This is my friend Tasio. Thank you. Tasio. <laughs> my Spanish is not very good. <laughs> I messed up my finger, so Tasio is going to give me a hand knocking out this wall. You feeling good, Tasio? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Catch you later. Okay, my friends. This is the door we've been waiting for. Nacho's gonna go crazy and smash it out. Oh, oh. Okay, Nacho, bueno! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, we smashed the door out. And uh, before I get too crazy on everything, 
Uh, you know, I want to get rid of all the trash. I got a whole room full of stuff in here. I know the lighting might be bad, but we got a lot of stuff here. Me personally, I can't stand working in a dump. So what I'm going to do is get this trash in that trailer, start fresh on the rest of the demo, because now we have access to get this stuff out of the room really quite easily. And we're going to pop it in my horse trailer here, take it to the dump, get rid of it. We're going to keep going and see what happens uh, in a few hours once we get all that trash out of there. We'll start bashing and crashing again. of the demo and as you can see it's slightly full and the trailer's getting a little bit heavy I don't want to I don't want to overdo it because the truck is going down more than the trailer it's only a half ton truck but <laughs> we'll see how it goes on the road I'm just gonna go real slow and take it easy me and Tasio made it to the dump as you can see it's pretty barren around here Buenos dias, Tasho. Muy buenos dias. <laughs> Hey guys, so that's the end of part one. I really hoped you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to do the demo. In part two, we'll be showing you some plumbing tips, how to put a door sill in, hang doors, do tiling, and all that good stuff. So please subscribe to my channel and follow. Hey, oh.